any one of our students could be the student that in the future feeds the future population. I work on associated bacteria with a Russian wheat aphid. Half the world's population depends on wheat as a food source. This Russian wheat aphid is contributing to yield loss. We try to understand how to make the plants more resistant to the pests and the pathogens that attack them. What I think is special about this place is the faculty, the environment. The faculty being willing to pass on opportunities to the younger generation of scientists. Getting undergraduates into the lab is huge. We love to take and give them experiential learning chances. Here at CSU, thanks to the gift funding we've received, we've been able to find something that no one else has ever found in Russian wheat aphid or other stylet feeding insects. My work's important because if we don't stop the aphid, we can't keep up with feeding the growing population. It's money that allows us to explore, either as an individual when you have scholarships and you're able to explore an educational field, or as a scientist when you're able to grab one of those ideas that you just need, you know it's going to work and you just need a little bit of money to go into it. And that's what sort of the fertilizer that, you know, that the seed needs in order to grow. 